Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with Cruise Tips TV. Welcome to our deck by deck video tour of newly refurbished Carnival Imagination. When entering the ship on deck seven, you'll immediately see the grand atrium with traditional fantasy class glass elevators and the centrally located atrium bar. I love the Grand Atrium. It's a twisty tangle of neon, usually bustling with activity. For good reason, too. On either side of the bar, you'll find the very popular shore excursion and guest services desks. Nearby, the Internet Cafe is designed with an open floor plan and ocean views. The internet may seem pokey compared to land connection, but it should do in a pinch. Just off the atrium area, you'll find the hallway, which serves as the art gallery. Moving up to Deck 8, we'll show you around the two-level Dynasty Show Lounge, located at the front of the ship. The show lounge is large and well laid out, with a combination of traditional and rounded booth-type seating. There are plenty of tables to place your drinks during the shows, and bar service is available. The seating is comfortable, and most will get you a good look at the stage. Because the view is quite spectacular from above, we actually started on Deck 9 Promenade, but you can enter on Deck 8 near the Fun Shops. And here's a quick look for you shopping enthusiasts. Moving back toward the center of the ship, the Curiosity Library is a warm, inviting place to read, wait for a table at dinner, or play a board game. The furniture is comfortable and homey, and there are several large windows to catch some sea views. Continuing toward the center of the ship, the Mirage Piano Bar has this circular piano focal point, crazy fun bar stools, and a funky mood. There's more seating by the windows, and of course, purple and yellow spheres seemingly floating everywhere. Just past the Mirage Bar is the Pride Dining Room, which was used for any time dining on our sailing. You'll find banquette seating and fun lighting, but no real private seating. Be ready for a little chit chat with your neighbors. There are tables of all sizes, from groups of two to 12. Now, let's head forward for a look at the Spirit Dining Room. The layout is similar to Pride, but this dining room is used for fixed-time diners. As we look around, you can see just how similar it is. But here's a pro tip for you. If you're not sure which dining room you're in, look up. Pride has angled or triangular lights, while Spirit's lights are rounded. And here's another tip that can save you a lot of walking. The two dining rooms are separated and they sandwich the gallery so there is no through access. You'll need to go either up or down a level to get from one to the other. If you've got kids or you just love games, here's your spot. There are your standard shooty games and even an air hockey table, but there's no ticket system and games are quite pricey. The right side wall is mostly lined with money pit type games. And here's a tip for you. The arcade can be hard to find. Head to the Pixels Photo Gallery and you'll find the arcade tucked away by the Dynasty Lounge entrance. All right, all you sweet tooth cruisers out there. 
Here's a look at the first new spot added in the 2016 refurb. It's cherry on top. They've got candy and lots of it, but they also have a few souvenir type things as well. During our visits, the staff was always super friendly, and hey, there's this cool hand washing machine. Perfect for the little ones. Let's keep things rolling and try our luck at the El Dorado Casino. As you can see, Imagination's midship casino is packed with gaming goodness. There are slots galore, blackjack, craps, roulette, and more. Just outside the El Dorado, you'll find the Dream Bar. This is a great place to grab a quick drink, meet up with friends, or even take in some live music. The decor is terrific here, lots of gold, and a real ancient Egypt and the Pharaohs vibe. Next up, we have the first of two lounges on Imagination, named after fantasy paradises. We'll see Xanadu a bit later, but now, take in the swirly spiral fun of Shangri-La. There's lots of comfortable seating here, but who wants to sit when you've got a crazy spiral dance floor? Mm, the taste bar. Gourmet snacks. Enough said. If you get tired of buffet coffee, you'll probably end up at Vittorio sooner or later. This is another great place to just hang out, maybe do a little people watching. Illusions Nightclub has just about everything you could want. Neon lights? Check. Big inviting bar? Check. DJ booth? Check. Comfy chairs? Check. And a spacious dance floor. Check. I think we're done here. Now let's get a look at another venue added in the 2016 refurb. It's the Alchemy Bar and it's one of my personal favorites. I like the comfortable living room feel here, the martini tasting, and the fun glowing drink menus. But what I really love is having the mixologist handcraft a custom drink to fit my mood. It's a fun place and a welcome upgrade. Right next to the Alchemy Bar is the Xanadu Lounge. This lush space is kind of a multi-purpose lounge hosting all sorts of events but primarily serves as the home of late night comedy and karaoke. There's plenty of comfy seating a bar, and even a dance floor. And if you're the karaoke type, here's a look from behind the mic just to get you prepped. If you're looking for ocean breezes, hot tubs, and cozy loungers, look no further than the Serenity Adult Only Retreat. It's a terrific place to relax, maybe jump in the hot tub and just enjoy the view. Oh, and there's this little shower thingy here too. So yeah, bonus. Now on to deck 10. Here's another addition from the 2016 renovation. It's the poolside Red Frog Rum Bar. Carnival says the frog keeps the fun hopping day and night. Of course, the frog brings a little something extra to the party with Caribbean rum-based concoctions. Yep, always a crowd pleaser. If rum's not your drink, you need only to walk next door to the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. They've got slushy tequila drinks galore and ice-cold Mexican cerveza. Yeah, sounds like the frog might have a little competition. Now that we've talked about some of the poolside drink options, let's get a look at the pool. It's bookended by two inviting hot tubs. 
and surrounded by lounge chairs. It can get pretty hopping here, and the stage and dance area keeps things lively with music, games, and other activities. Another awesome 2.0 enhancement in 2016 was the addition of Guy's Burger Joint. Not only are the burgers rockin' good, but it's centrally located poolside for that quick and easy burger and fries fix. Pro tip time. On sea days, the cool ocean breeze can quickly cool your precious burger and fries. To avoid the chill, rush your treasure to the nearby Horizon Grill and enjoy it safely inside. If you're not in a burger mood, but still want poolside culinary gratification, check out the neighboring Blue Iguana Cantina. It features freshly made tacos and burritos with your choice of fixings. This was another part of the 2016 refurbishment, and it really works well alongside guys. The addition of these two hotspots seemingly helps keep the crowds down in the buffet, which is a good thing. And speaking of the Horizon Buffet, here it is. With its circular neon lights crisscrossing the ceiling, this place always reminds us of something from a Jules Verne novel. To keep the lines short, Horizon has stations with different types of food. You can find standard buffet fare here in addition to pizza, sandwiches, and of course, ice cream. It can get crowded at times, but here's a tip for you. You can often find a quieter place to enjoy your meal outdoors, on the sides and the rear of the restaurant. Now it's time for something for the kids. First stop, Camp Ocean. At Camp Ocean, kids are entertained in age-based groups. It's games, sports, and all kinds of age-appropriate activities supervised by Carnival's friendly counselors. Next up, it's wet and wild fun with Waterworks. Waterworks is all about slides. There are slides here for even the littlest cruisers. Check out this pint-sized dual lane for tots. Of course, there's a big kid version of the dual lane as well. But if you're serious about water slides, you'll want to check out the Twister. What's it like? Well, let's take the long walk up and check it out. So yeah, it's kind of like that, but now we have to check out the dual lane. And that's that. It's time now to visit the spa. Here's a look at the entrance. Now on one side, you've got the men's facilities. And on the other, there's massage and the ladies' facilities. But first, here's a quick look at the salon, a treatment room, and the ladies' steam room and sauna. Here's the ladies' locker room, and now the men's. The door at the end leads to the gym. 
So let's take a look in there. This is a pretty nicely equipped gym. There are free weights, lots of machines, and plenty of treadmills with ocean views, and some with TVs. During our visit, all equipment was in excellent condition. There's also a group fitness room. The last stop on our tour is the City Sports Park. There's a small but adequate jogging track, and of course, mini golf. This is a fun place to hang out, even if you're not into mini golf or jogging. That's it for this episode. If you haven't already, check out our daily vlogs from our sailing on Carnival Imagination. And if this is your first time on our channel, consider subscribing and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter by searching Cruise Tips TV. We have weekly cruise and vlog videos. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey, click me to subscribe.